Why am I doing that? I'm doing a Supernatural Season 15, Episode 5. Oh, let's go on this journey, have some fun, get nasty, get funky, okay, boys? No, I'm not. It starts off when the three girls are camping and they're drinking like that, talking about how they love Colin when like they're about to graduate. Well, they're attacked by some creature. Two of them were slaughtered, one escapes like that, okay? And then it cuts off to like Dean, uh, like basically walking in, and Sam's just like talking to somebody, trying to call Cassio. And Dean's trying to show off, he's like, oh, about this like really hot ba uh, bacon like that. No, beef jerky would be Zach, beef jerky. So he bites into it. And he can't take it. It's too burning in his mouth. He's trying to hold it in. Kind of reminds me of a story one time I was at a, a Thai restaurant and I ate some like Thai food, but I got the extra, extra hot with the extreme hot ones. I was sweating. But this is a side of the point. Back to the review, okay? Um, they're doing all that. They see this case. They decide to go up. And they the drive up. They stop by this like gas, the, the, the police station. They look at the IDs. And like Sam told D, like, dude, you don't look that. Come on. That's your old ID when you're younger. It's been years. So, like, they make a little joke because, you know, he looks, he got older, yeah. Using his old ID. And the cops like this, that's not about you. Okay. They do that. Um, they find out when the one victim's at. So they go to the hospital, interview her like that. She spilled the beans like this. And then they go to this one people's house where they expected who did it. They found it was a werewolf, basically. Basically, interview her. Find out the guys are all creatures like that. Go back. The girl calls them up because she's out of the hospital. They go to the hotel, stop talking a little bit, you know. And the girl's like this to like, say, like, please, you please stay in my hotel and watch me tonight. Can I fall asleep? She's like, okay. And then Dean and him have a nice conversation. And they like, do you love your job? And Dean's like, yeah, I love my job. You know, I mean, it has good and bad, but you know, I do this for a purpose. Like, this is my purpose in life. Comes back to the two werewolves arguing, and the brother, like the bitch brother, is, we don't want to hurt people anymore. Why are you doing this? Don't do it. And he's like, the other guy's like, we have to kill these motherfuckers. They kill us. So they track her down, like that. They capture the girl when Dean was sleeping. Dean then follow, tracks them down to their house. They have an epic fight, thinking the uh, werewolves almost killed Dean. The one brother. Just can't take him. Or can't he takes the sickness of his brother, shoots him dead, and makes him suicide. And then you see Lyra, the one girl, like this, fall down and actually die. And you find out she's Lyris, Lyris like that, like you know, a demon, Lyris like this. Basically, Chuck sent her like brought her back to life like that, just to get the gun he had. He gave them a long time ago. He can kill damaged demons. I mean, angels like that and higher beings. So she's like, hey, Chuck sent me, you know, he wanted me to deduce Dean like this and play with you guys like this, but he wants his toy back. And then, like, Seven D's like, I'm not going to give his toy back. You tell Chuck he wants it back, come see me. And, like, she just messes him up. Uh, Dean makes a deal with her, like, hey, I will give you the gun back if you don't kill my brother. They walk around. Uh, they, they drive back to the hotel. Dean's like, nah, I'm going to fight you now. I'm just joking about it. They fight... Dean is like cut, cut up a bunch of times like by her getting tortured. I'm like, ew, this, come on, don't touch him that much. Sam wakes up, eventually finds like Dean, shoots the uh, Lyris in the head, basically stopping her. But Lyris is so powerful that doesn't affect her that much. Like, it affects her for a minute. This is going to escape the room, but then they get captured again and frozen. And then thinking, um, you see Lyris like this. Oh, you know what? I know you have a gun with you because you wouldn't leave it at the house. You might need it. And she figures out the guns of the car, takes the gun, melts it in her hand like that. It's like, my job is done, bye. And then it cuts off to her thinking, Sam and Dean, like, back home, drinking. He has, like, like, like uh, tape, bottle of paper, band-aids on his face, like that, goss on his wounds, like this. And he's all playing like this, how are we going to defeat Chuck? Chuck is so powerful like that. Like, we, we don't have the gun anymore to defeat him like that. Like, what will you do? And he's Sam trying to, like, basically... Boosts his ego up like that. It's like, hey, we can do this, you know? We defeat everybody else. We defeat Lucifer. We defeat Michael. We can defeat Chuck, too, like that. We can do this. And you see, like, fucking, like, Dean really breaking down. Can't handle it. And the episode ends like that. I give this episode a solid 8. It was pretty good like this. Um, 
I wonder what kind of creatures he has, like Chuck will bring back to life, just to fuck with my, Sam and D like that. Is he going to bring Lucifer back to life like that? And have Lucifer team up with Michael with him and have the three guys together against Sam and Dean like that? Is he going to cage his sister up again with darkness and put inside thinking um, Dean like that? And then have like Sam be taken over by Lucifer like this and have the fight to the death. His old goal, he wants Sam to kill, Luc kill Dean or Dean to kill Sam like that. So I want to see what's up. I hear with the next episode. This is getting very interesting like that. You know? What do you think of this episode? Do you think it was good? Do you think it was crap? And tell me your point of view like that. You know? Salam. And what kind of weird creatures would you like to see in the next episode of Supernatural? Again, have a blessing day. And like and subscribe, please.